New evacuation warnings are in effect for Douglas County across the state line in Nevada tonight because of the Caldor fire in El Dorado County. Cal Fire says containment has inched up now to 15%. The fire has grown by nearly 10,000 acres to over 186,000 acres as it threatens South Lake Tahoe under red flag conditions. 3,700 firefighters are now battling the flames. Joining us now to talk more about the Caldor fire is former FEMA presidential appointee Mark Naveau. Mark, thank you for joining us. You're looking at this fire with a highly trained eye. When you look at the fire, what do you see? Well, a couple of things, Frank. We can talk about the spread of the fire in a moment, but these firefighters, whether you're fighting fire, fixing fire engines, or fixing food for firefighters up there, all of these folks are operating in smoke, sleeping in smoke, eating in smoke. Highly stressful situation. They haven't seen their family in weeks, if not months. And frankly, there's not a lot of relief around the corner for the fire or for relief crews coming to help them. Yeah, I really don't understand how those fire crews can manage. This has been burning now for two weeks. It's so hot up there. They've got all of that equipment on. Uh, they must just be exhausted. Absolutely. What came out today in the IAP is one of the most stringent safety me messages I've ever seen. Canopy fires, fires in the top of the trees, traveling at 165 feet a minute. That's like sitting on the curb, at a, looking at a city block, counting to 120 and seeing a fire start at the building number one and going all the way across the block in two minutes, 165 feet a minute. Wow. Extremely difficult to fight the fire. So, Mark, is that why containment of this fire is, is going down? It dropped from 19 percent down to 15 percent tonight. Well, we, we heard a little bit from Bill today about the weather and how the fire weather, red flag weather is pushing this fire. That's part and parcel. But also, they don't have all the personnel they'd like to have, even though we're flying night operations for the first time in history. So you would think we could double up on the effort and get some containment. These fires are burning so hot, so fast, and spotting a mile down the way, they don't have crews to put on some of those spot fires so it's very precarious. That's why they're doing aggressive evacuations in South Lake Tahoe. What do firefighters have to do to get a handle on this fire? And how concerned are you that it could hit South Lake Tahoe? My understanding is that it's only five or six miles away. Well, obviously, the incident commanders, and they've talked about this before, they're going to be very, very aggressive with their evacuation orders. That's what we're seeing for South Lake Tahoe. Now, that was not an easy decision to make, given that the holidays coming, people are heading there, they want the business, but they recognize that this is something they don't want to take any chances with. We're going to get people out of the way. We don't have the resources necessarily to stop this. We might be able to channel it, but we've got to get people out of harm's way. Mark, can they bring in the 747 or the DC-10 tanker jets to stop, to, to, to rather, to spread that fire retardant over the fire? I mean, I, I don't know if I've seen those planes flying over that fire yet. In some cases, weather may permit, uh, prohibit that. There was an inversion layer, so the flight, the ability to fly sometimes gets hampered. They do have DC-10s. They've got new uh, Nighthawk helicopters, fly faster, carry more water that they're using this year. But the big 747 is no longer in service. As crazy as that sounds, it was a private enterprise. They weren't making enough money. They grounded it. So it's not available for them to use in these firefights. Hmm. There are red flag warnings, as you mentioned, for the next two days where the Calder fire is burning. So it's not hyperbole to say, Mark, that the next two days are going to be crucial. Not only here for the Caldor fire, but the other 12, 13, 14 fires going across not only California, but the nation. Add to that that a lot of firefighters have been moved over to Hurricane Ida. They're part of urban search and rescue teams and command teams. So Cal Fire relies upon local fire departments and firefighters to come help them. Some of them are not available because of the hurricane. Great, great challenges ahead. Well, it's got to get better because it certainly can't get a whole lot worse. Mark Niveau joining us live tonight. Thanks, Mark. We appreciate it. You got it, Frank. Thank you.